All right, we're going to do the third part of the heart now. Um, this one may wrap it up. So you remember last time we had blood coming into the left atrium, and it's going to go into the left ventricle from the left atrium. We can tell this is the left ventricle because it has a thicker wall. And it's going to go over a, a uh, valve that looks like a trampoline right here. And there are two cusps, so this must be the bicuspid valve or mitral valve. Mitral meaning it has a, an angular kind of shape. Here are the chordae tendinae, just like before. And um, papillary muscles are kind of hit or miss. Sometimes you can see them, sometimes you can't. So I'm not seeing it. Oh, no, I'm not really seeing any good ones here. Not easy ones. To, but that's okay. And then this is the left uh, ventricle. And then the blood goes from the left ventricle up into the aorta. And if we do that, we should see the come out of the aorta right there. So there's the aorta. You can tell this is the aorta because of the thin wall, or thick walls rather. And this is actually where calamari comes from. If you ever had calamari, they just take these and cut little circles. <laughs> now, um, if we go back up to where the aorta begins, now here we've rotated the heart around. This is the left side. We can see it's left because it's got a thick wall. We see there are these little shirt pocket things right here. This one's been kind of cut. There's a shirt pocket. See if I can get it right here. And then there's a shirt pocket right here. Those are the semilunar valves. And the semilunar valves have three cusps. There's one at the beginning of the aorta and there's one at the beginning of the pulmonary trunk. Pulmonary trunk's a little more difficult to see, but um, uh, we may be able to find it. And then we have a couple of other things that I should mention. Um, this one's been ripped, but on the um, ventral side of the heart, we see this big piece of material coming from the ventricular wall over to the septum, and that is the moderator band. Moderator band has a couple of functions. Helps keep the ventricle from overstretching, and it also helps spread impulses through the heart. And then if we look up into the uh, coronary sulcus, we can see there's a vessel here, and it's got kind of a thick wall, and that is a coronary artery. And then running also in that sulcus will be a thinner wall vessel, but they collapse usually, and they're really hard to find. And uh, so I'll see if I can find that on another heart for you. Let's see, on this side there's an artery. Um, oh, there's a vein right there. Yep. See this little opening? And see how thin the wall is? Thinner than paper. Okay? So that is a coronary vein, and this is a coronary artery. Okay. Um, what else do we need to cover? I think we got most of the stuff. This is the apex of the heart. That's the point of the heart. Okay, and that's at the caudal end of the heart. Uh, I think that's pretty much it.